This is the solution video for question six from paper one of the 2019 TMUA exam. This question asks us to consider two circles with equations x plus 4 squared plus y plus 1 squared is 64 and x minus 8 squared plus y minus 4 squared is r squared where r is some unknown positive number. Number we're told that these circles have exactly one point in common and we're asked what's the difference between the two possible values of r that we could choose to make this statement true about the circles having exactly one point in common and for this difference we're given five possible answers which are 4, 10, 16, 26 and 50. So with this question we could try going about it algebraically or geometrically really but algebraically looks pretty difficult because it's to get x on its own and then substitute that in for here. It's going to be difficult. So let's look at it geometrically. So what do these two circles look like? Well, circle 1, we'll call this top equation. Uh, and we know from the general formula for a circle that this has center minus 4, minus 1. And 8 squared is 64, so we have radius 8. Now our second circle, we can see got a center at 8, 4, because we've got x minus 8 squared plus y minus 4 squared. And our radius, we don't know, but we know it's r. So we know roughly what the circles look like. Let's draw a picture. So here are some axes, and let's put circle 1 on first, because we know everything about circle 1. So we know circle 1 looks something like this, with this point being minus 4, minus 1. And it looks vaguely like this. It doesn't have to be that accurate, but it gives us a nice picture of what's going on. And we know circle 2 looks something like this, with the centre 8, 4. Now, you'll note that this circle isn't drawn to meet the condition we require. This is just generally what it looks like for a given R, and we'll increase and decrease R and see what pictures we get. So, firstly, let's imagine R increasing. So, R gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and this circle gets bigger and bigger, until it touches at exactly one point, roughly around here. Uh, and let's see what that looks like. So it'll look like this. So it touches exactly one point. And then what, what does our other value of R correspond to? Well, that's if this circle, or the one here is probably easier to describe with, gets bigger and bigger, it'll eventually be that this purple circle is contained within this orange circle and they'll just touch at an edge around here. So it's probably easier to see illustrated here. So these are what our two values of R correspond to. So how do we go from here? Well, let's draw a line. We draw the green line from the point to the point, so from here to here on this diagram. You'll see the inter this line goes through the intersection of the circles. Now, this does make complete sense because if the two circles touch at this point, the tangent lines will be the same. And we know a radius and a tangent are perpendicular, so the radius, so this point, this point, and this point will be collinear. And that is on the same line. And the same happens here if we draw the two channels, the two circles here, they're the same. So this point, this point, and this point will be on the same line. So this is really helpful, actually, because let's draw on where these intersection points correspond to on here. So we know we've got a line here, and the first circle intersects here, and the second circle intersects here. So we don't know the radius of either of these circles, but that's not what we've got to find out. What we've got to find out is the difference between the two possibilities. So what we need is the distance between this point and this point. And that's quite easy to work out because we already know the radius of this purple circle. It's eight, right? And we'll see this is just two lots of the radius, this distance, because it goes straight through the center. So we know this difference between, the, between possible values of R is 16. And this corresponds with our answer of C in a multiple choice. And so our answer is C.